What's up, guys? Welcome back to Ultimate MMA Plus. Uh, we're still working on our De La Hiva Guard series. This is part three, guys. So if you guys missed the first two weeks, definitely look back. We did part one, we, we did part two. Now we're going to work from the De La Hiva Guard and we're going to go to the X Guard. All right? So I'm in my De La Hiva Guard in here. Boom. All right? He's looking to pass. I'm able to come up and grab a wrist. I'm going to go for my tripod sweep, but when I put the hook, he's controlling my leg here, so I'm having a hard time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lift him up, and I'm going to bring my knee inside here. Don't fall, guys. Make sure you guys don't fall. All right? So I'm in here. I'm going to lift up, bring him in. And at the same time I do that, he's off balance, so he's not going to be worrying about this foot anymore. So come back. So maybe he stepped over, boom, and he came back to look to pass. Yep, come back to look the pass. He's going to come back. And then when I bring this in, I'm going to put this right in. And I'm going to switch to regular X guard. I'm going to grab behind his knee, and then I'm going to pummel underneath to get here. Now he's standing up, so what I'm going to do is look to get his ankle. But look, I can't reach. It's not going to be easy just to grab unless you guys are tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift him up. Here, lift. He fell, <laughs> but try to keep your balance. All right, so I'm going to lift him up to get that ankle. So I'm in my De La Hiva. He's looking to pass. I'm able to get the wrist. I look for my tripod sweep. He steps out, so I miss the hook. He steps back looking to pass. When he's more squared up is when I would go in. Then I would drop my hook back in. Come behind the knee. Because it's not going to be easy to come inside here. So I have to come here. So look, I can pummel in. And then I'm here. Um, stay pretty square here. Stay nice and tight. He's going to be messing with my feet here to step out. So I'm always, always making him move. Because he's going to want to push this down and back step. And back step right up. And then I'm in trouble. So when the guy does that, even if he looks to do that, I drop down here. Here. Move him around. When I'm ready to get this, lift him up. Here. Make sure you bring your knee up. Drop down, maybe go in to my half guard again. Let's this angle. So, here, do it in steps. He goes to grab, pick it up. Here, maybe he doesn't let me get this hook. He steps back, and then comes back looking to pass, and then bring this knee right in. Get the hook, twist, come inside, lift him up. Here, make sure I lay with the knee up. I can pass or lay in in half guard. So let's angle now. The daily evil. So the first sweep, I always want, I always want to stretch him and I always want to come here. But this time, when I stretch him out, he controls my shift. My yes, in here. I'm not gonna be able to sit up if he does that. This way I grab, come here. Look for this, he steps out. Then when he looks to come back, slide that in. Twist, come, lift up, grab. Is it one more pass? Make sure you land with this up. Don't land with it down. Sometimes you end up here if you do. It's not the end of the world. Everyone got it? All right, guys, this is part three from the De La Hiva series. This is how you get the X guard. Come up, get that ankle pick sweep, and then either in side control or you can go right into half guard to control the guy better. All right, guys, hope you enjoy. Give us a thumbs up if you like this series. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys want to see. And definitely don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you next week on three. One, two.